السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Welcome everyone. So it is always said, know yourself and then you know Allah, you know God. But the question is, what is the self, you see? And this is a, a there is a, a huge a huge confusion on that topic, yeah, as far as I can see it. So people, th when they hear the word self, they think this is the ego self that you should know. And the ego self is actually the self you should know, but that doesn't necessarily mean through this you will know the other self, which is your real self, which is your higher self, your spirit self, and this self is not an individual self. There is no individual self. We are reflections of one soul. Yeah. And this reflection is embodied in the sun. Yeah. There is one sun. There is not a thousands of suns. Yeah. There is one sun. And this one sun collects inhibits all the different reflections that they are yeah this is the collective so your higher self is always being a part of the collective self of the self then at the end there is only one self that which is the divine there's only one existence and our self is collectively with this one self and this is where we merge no so there is no individual me with an individual story that is why in you see all your past lives which you may see in this state it is from no from no relevance as it is no relevance also what you are in this life all this disappears in the vision of light you see your real self our real self because there's not my real self or your real self the real self is light no and light is the end of all illusion yeah when you are in this state of light you will understand that everything else is an illusion so see it like the the light that projects something on the canvas in the cinema at least in the old times now it was like this there was this this pictures that move in front and when you, if you would turn around you would just see a light no you cannot recognize any other thing so of course, this light is behind a lens and so on. But to make it easy, the light itself is the lens that projects everything on the matrix. No, the matrix is is the canvas. The matrix is the stage. No, but as it is also in the movie, it is also in reality. Nothing happens. Yeah, it is projected but it is light projected. It feels real as in a dream. We have the experience of real, physical real, yeah, emotional real. But when we wake up, we understand nothing has happened to us physically. Nothing has happened to us in real. Yeah. And this is a paradox, you see, but this is how it is. And you can only fully understand it if you have the experience of light. So light should be your first concern. Yeah, we said it already the last time. Light is your purpose, is your mission. Yeah. You are light. You forgot about it. So you live in a kind of darkness, kind of cloudiness. Yeah, kind of confusion. And the more you drive yourself back to the light, starting literally by 
putting your senses in contact with the light. Yeah. It's not for nothing that we enjoy sun bathing, you see, because it is the body that receives an enormous quantity of light. You know? Like with everything, you should not exaggerate. But if you do it for some minutes, you will have a different emotional state because your body gets filled up with something that we cannot really describe. You know? So not for everyone this is possible, but it is probably mostly possible for us that we can put our face in front of the sun, feeling it, feeling closed eyes, of course, feeling the warmth, the warmth on us, the warmth on the face. And doing so will definitely generate a higher emotion in us, a higher peace, a higher clarity. The light brings clarity. So when you make this your intention, you, know, you become light conscious in a way. You see what brings light in your life and what does not bring light in your life. You are not looking anymore into the into the the area of this is a problem, how do I solve it? You just simply look, is it lightful? Am I in a lightful situation? Yeah. Or what is not lightful in my life? Look at it in your life like that. What emanates light in your life? You will have a feeling for it because it is your heart that tells you, that reacts inward on this light. So you will be happy when you live a lightful situation. That's why most of the childhoods, there was a, a lightful situation being a child already. You know? That was not ideal, yeah? It was not all light, but if you remember your childhood and you remember it under the aspect of the sun, so how many times you see the sun very strong in your memories? Yeah, look for it. Yeah, if I do that in my life, the sun is permanent present now, and when I look at the memories with my master. The light is permanently present there. It is as if there is an invisible light torch there or a sun that was in all the scenes there. Yeah. And in the memories, they, it pops up. They always have this kind of glow of light. No. So look in your life. Yeah, look in your present life and see where you find light, yeah, then this is fine. And where it is not like that, that is the situation that you have to enlighten, that you have to bring light into it. No? And you don't bring light into it by thinking, but you bring light by the right action. No? You learn to act rightly. And the action is also emotionally. You look with the right emotion into it. No. So if there is something to forgive, no, that is a light full act. Yeah. If there is something to be active, also is a light full act. No. Be creative, it's a light full act. Caring is a light full act. No. So all these things look at it and Feel the light like a guide. Light guides you. Yeah. Because all is light at the end. Yeah. Make your experiments and make your experiences and you will inshallah find the truth of it. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.